directly milling small details as opposed to taking parts away from the machining center to do this small scale work can improve both your products and your productivity. How small do you mill today before resorting to EDM, filing, or other methods? In this video, we will work with end mills down to eight thousandths of an inch, or 0.2 millimeters, to show how practical it can be to use these tools. Implementing micro machining involves considerations you already know. Cutter selection and parameters, setup accuracy, cutter runout, thermal growth, and other details become more important when micro machining, as small cutters and details are less forgiving and customer demands are more stringent. One of the most important concepts for successful micro machining is the cutter length to diameter ratio. The longer a tool is relative to its diameter, the weaker it becomes. A good rule of thumb for micro machining today is to stay 10 to 1 or shorter for your length to diameter ratio. Thus, Milling to 10 millimeters deep with a 1 millimeter ball end mill is reasonably practical, while a greater depth with a 1 millimeter end mill will be difficult or impractical. Here's a quick view of milling hardened S7 tool steel in a sharp corner with a 1 millimeter diameter ball end mill that is 20 millimeters long. Watch carefully and you'll see the cutter deflect and then bite deflect again and bite, and so on. The long shaft of this ball mill is too weak to support the cutting forces. Even when milling within the 10 to 1 rule of thumb, the speeds, feeds, step over, and chip load per tooth must be adjusted as the ratio grows. You can expect that over 5 to 1 Twice the cutter length will reduce step over and step down each by half or more, as well as reducing the chip load per tooth and thus the feed rate. For example, let's compare the material removal rates for a 1 mm ball end mill in both 5 mm and 10 mm lengths. We are comparing 5 to 1 and 10 to 1 length to diameter ratios for a cutter at the large end of the micro machining spectrum. In steel under 32 Rockwell, the 5 mm cutter removes 1.5 cubic millimeters per minute. The 10 mm cutter yields about 3 tenths of a cubic millimeter per minute, roughly 20 percent. Milling stainless steel, as used in medical manufacturing, or 42 to 50 Rockwell tool steel, the difference is even more dramatic. The 5 mm long ball mill yields about half a cubic millimeter per minute versus just two hundredths of a cubic millimeter for the 10 mm length. The 10 mm long end mill removes less than 5% of what the 5 mm does in the same time. This emphasizes how important it is to rough with as stout a cutter as possible or practical. The huge difference in productivity with various length to diameter ratios also underscores a key concept in micro machining. Start with the end in mind. When planning your job, figure out from the start what your smallest cutter will be, and that will make your other cutter path choices easier. Evaluate the smallest details and the depth of those details to establish a logical flow of material removal. Patience is one of your most important assets in micro machining. Small details take time and there's no way to rush them. However, 
with planning aimed at keeping length to diameter ratios as small as possible, it may be possible to reduce the amount of patience that's required. Even more importantly, if you keep in mind that effective micro machining will eliminate or reduce subsequent steps in the process, you can see that your patients will be rewarded. We hope this information helps you push your limits with micro machining.